Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we'll demonstrate to you the procedure that we adopt in uh, making the orthographic projections for a simple object as shown in figure here. Uh, here, uh, we normally start with identifying the surfaces. So you note that we have a number of uh, surfaces in this uh, object. Few of them uh, are uh, principal surfaces or rather most of them are principal surfaces and we have one skew surface. So we can uh, make use of the principal surfaces uh, uh, to draw the object very easily. So, so uh, let us make use of uh, some of the principal surfaces. Here in the front view, so the arrow direction represents that the front view has to be taken from this direction. So the front view we see one principal surface of L shape whose height is 4 grid spaces and whose length is also 4 grid spaces and uh, to use that so what we do to draw that what we do so we make an L shape of 4 by 4 height and 4 length like this so this is the principal surface which is visible here. Please note in the pictorial drawing it was a distorted figure. So basically you know it is uh, uh, the uh, this is the axis in the front view the, the, the length is visible and the height is visible. So basically length and height of the object they are 90 degree apart but here they are uh, some other angle apart rather 120 degree apart. So, but in when you view from fr uh, the direction of the arrow, so it becomes 90 degrees. So, in reality, the orthographic projection will represent undistorted uh, image of the object. So, so that we are uh, trying to make. So, this is uh, uh, one thing. The, the next thing is uh, the other principal surface. So, we have the principal surface. Uh, uh, visible in the front view the other principal surface visible in the front view is this one so where the cursor currently lie so to make that uh, you can simply start with this point which is the height you know that uh, the principal surface which we are targeting now is uh, having a certain distance from this edge of the th this corner of the L shape which we earlier drew but you note that the difference is only in the depth and in the front view this depth uh, variability will not be visible so that is why just at this corner itself we can start so you, you know that this corner is already available with me in the front view so from this corner itself so we can uh, start making the other principal surface which is at a different depth so and the rest of the data will be exactly uh, measured as we have four grid spaces uh, length here so it's four grid spaces we have picked up then we go up to the bottom so then we reach here so then we go up to this point then the height has to be uh, two grid spaces and this way so we have uh, this principal surface completed now you note that the skew surface is also visible in the front view this skew surface so the reference points are already available now through the principal surfaces which we drew so overall you can match so the the edges etc so so the the overall length you know uh, length of this skew surface which will be visible in the front view that will be three grid spaces so that the length will be visible length of the skew surface will be visible through this edge and this edge along this edge if you move you see that we have to move by three grid spaces along length and two grid spaces along the depth that is how we complete this edge and that is uh, uh, and the depth change we the movement in depth we have to ignore because we are in the front view and just the change in the length so that is already available to us so this way so the skew surface is also completed now the 
the top view we have to take up. In the top view you see we have again an L shape as the principal surface. So in the top view we have this principal surface, we have this principal surface and we have one skew surface. So this is what will be visible in the top view. Let us start with the topmost principal surface. So for that the depth is 4 grid spaces that we will use and the length is 5 grid spaces and using that we complete the topmost principal surface then we can again similar way start with the uh, principal surface which is at a depth of three grid spaces from the top so because in the top view depth change is not visible so we can directly start with the principal surface location here sorry uh, this is uh, this was not correct uh, we start from here and uh, how do we reach this point uh, that is uh, one grid space uh, before this one and uh, here so this is the trapezium which we are targeting in the top view so this way we have uh, everything every feature that will be visible in the top view available in this diagram now about the side view so for the side view we start with the rectangle which is 3 by 1 so that is uh, shown here this was the rectangle which we have earlier made now the uh, next rectangle we can focus on is this rectangle whose location will be like this. Then we have the trapezium here. The trapezium will be 3 grid spaces along this and then this way and then 1 grid space inside and one grid space just below the top face. This is exactly what you will see in the side view. So you so so here uh, just through the principal surfaces, so we could locate the dimensions as well as edges of the skew surface also. So overall, you verify all the surfaces uh, if they have been satisfied. So we note that all the surfaces are satisfied now and this way we complete the drawing of the simple object given to us. So thank you.